Free to play? I don't think so. And your Bethany hit Vero, and you said Vero has high def. Dude, use the skill that ignores defense. Lies everywhere. We're all at 100% free to play. You're not kidding anyone. And that alone make me stick with other SOR YouTubers. The following message is addressed to my supporters, followers, and anyone who watches my content. The hero of YouTube, Jeff Heiser, has exposed me for who I truly am. A liar and a cheat. He has shown and proved with irrefutable evidence that I am indeed a pay to win scum. But what he has shown is only simply the tip of the iceberg, and there are many more things for me to confess. I am actually a Summoner's War prostitute, and I suck the dick of Comptos employees for free Mystic Scrolls and Light Dark Scrolls. And that is the only reason I am able to obtain my Nat 5s. It is not because I have better RNG or better luck than most players, but simply because I have sucked dick to get to where I am. I do not deserve your forgiveness, so please unsubscribe to me, stop watching my videos, and only watch the videos of other Summer's War YouTubers. I am very sorry. Fess me, Daddy. What is up, guys? Welcome back. Today, we're going to be taking a look at my new AO team, and this is it. Uh, it looks really messy. It looks, it looks like it's not working, but it has been working somewhat well. Um, I'm not very high ranked right now, but I'm just like currently hovering, um, you know, conquer one fighter ish because I'm using a two man defense. Um, but I'm, I'm just using this team to kind of speed clear and it does help me farm very, very fast. So I kind of wanted to showcase these two nukers. Um, they're, they're pretty unique, I think. Tossy, not everyone has him. He's kind of rare. And Ellen, who's just been the, the last um, secret dungeon monster. So Ellen is a, is a monster that has an AoE attack bar buff. I don't even have her runes maxed out. It's, it's kind of bad, but she does already do a lot of damage and she, she's here kind of for the utility as well. So she's already pretty good um, and she does what I need her to do. So I have Ellen and Tossie set up to be the same speed and I can just kind of set them um, whichever, you know, I, I just set Ellen first and then Tossie afterwards, so Ellen will always move before Tossie and there's less chance of anyone cutting in front of me. So, I run Galleon for Cleave AO, and in this case, since they don't have any AoE um, debuffers and they don't have any immunity, I'm going to be running Megan instead of my, um, my Praha, or sometimes I do actually run Soha as well, but Soha is only 5 stars, so it doesn't work that well. So we're just gonna do some do some fights. I only have six wings, but we're just gonna uh, try to clear the, the the rest of the, this list. There's a um, a few care few guys left. You'll see after this fight, and we're gonna actually just see. Um, you know, this is gonna kind of, kind of be an Ellen plus Tossie showcase video. Keep in mind that Ellen's runes are maxed out, and Tossie's runes are a lot better. I will be showing the runes right after this fight, so you guys can see them first. So I'm just gonna hit them with my nuke. And then Tossie's just basically going to finish up. Um, I have everyone on, on will runes with the exception of Megan. Megan doesn't really need the will runes. She's kind of here just to um, help my team get her get their turn order right and make sure no one cuts in front when they don't have any sort of immunity. Uh, when they do have some sort of immunity, I will take out Megan and put in another monster that can have AoE AoE cleanse like Praha or Soha or something like that. So. Tossie is on um, Will Double Blade. He does have a hundred percent attack, and these three runes are maxed out. But his one, one, three, and five are not. Um, so he has actually has pretty high resistance as well, which is really really good. Helps him um, not get stunned by random stuff like Orion removing his Will rune and stunning him afterwards. And 
he has um, he has the same speed as Ellen. I did kind of just time their speed kind of the same. Um, not the highest attack because you know I, I couldn't really push the attack sub stats with with all the slots. I kind of had to push crit rate and speed to make sure he does have 100% crit rate and enough, enough crit damage to do a lot of damage. Um, one of the reasons I, I have Tossy on 100% crit rate is because I want him to be able to crit on both hits of this skill. Um, my Ellen doesn't really need 100% crit rate because this is a multi-hit skill, it hits 4 times. So if it crits most of the time, it's actually better. Um, so I only need probably around you know 70-80ish crit rate and then stack as much crit damage as possible. Um, she's basically here for the utility. A lot of people underestimate her, but she already has pretty high base attack for a nat 3. Um, you know, not the worst base HP. Defense is kind of low, but you know, you can't really expect too much from a nat 2. I have a little bit of accuracy just so she can land land her third skill. And then she's currently on Rage Will. Um, I do attack, crit rate attack. I, I kind of want to use the, the crit rate room because I didn't really push crit rate on any of the other stats. Uh, most of my really strong crit rate runes are on Shinza, and I can't afford to put those runes on, on my Ellen. Um, so, she's on kind of secondary runes, but this already works very well and it's not even maxed out. I will try to max it out, and it will make her a little bit, it might make her a little bit faster when I make these plus 12, but it actually already has speed, so it's impossible for her to be faster. Which is good, because um, this way she has the same exact speed as my Tossie. So we're we're gonna go into going to do a, a few more fights and try to clear the rest of this list and, and maybe I can get a few more wings. So we're gonna see if they have anything crazy or anything that that can kill me. So this is a, a another team that that's basically just you know crazy nukers all that. I'm gonna just put in Megan again, and we're gonna just run this team. In in this case, even if one of my nukers die, my other nukers should be able to take them down since they're all attackers and I have shield runes on my units. Um, I have two sets of shield runes on my galleon, so there's a there's less of a chance for my units to actually die. And um, Okay, that actually hurt quite a lot. Alright, alright. So I'm gonna I'm gonna attack bar buff up. This is a little bit dangerous because they do have two win. I might actually fail this because, you know, just really bad RNG. Um, since they targeted my Tossy instead of the other four monster that they could have targeted. So Ellen's gone. So the, now that's now that the only guys left are Theomars and this Lagmron, which is going to be a little bit hard because this Lagmron is wind and he does hit my water units very, very, very hard. So I actually shouldn't have used Megan's second skill. I could have killed Theomars with it. But I don't think Megan can solo Legmron. I think that was just a really bad run. Um, sometimes RNG does does do really bad sometimes. So we're gonna we're gonna try again. I'm going to um, I'm going to yeah basically use the same team and try to try to survive the first run. I don't even have to use Megan. I can actually just use Orion and. Um, if, since Orion is on Nemesis runes, he might it might help him cut in front. I use a lot of like my fourth monster. I, I switch them around a lot. I just try to try to get get something in that'll help me win the fight. Um, you know, try to utilize my team against the the enemy. But Lisa is pretty much always going to attack Tossy, which is a little bit bad. But Orion is is actually slightly faster than Megan, so I actually cut in front of them and boosted my attack bar up. Um, Oh, I think it's because Bernard didn't buff their attack bar. So this is kind of GG for them. I'm just going to do this. And then Tossie's going to use his AoE combo. And then all that's left is Steel Mars. So in AO, sometimes you, there is a little bit of RNG involved. Um, if it's like the last hour, you want to try to get as far as you can. Try to find, a t find teams that have less risk. That was actually very risky because there's, there are chances for me to wipe and die. Um, this one actually probably has a bit less chance for me to die. There, there's still like a speed team that's going to try to attack first. I'm going to actually probably try to switch back to Megan. Actually, I don't need to switch back to Megan. Against these really high attack teams, I, I think defense leader works pretty well. So I'm going to run Orion. And Orion does actually have slightly faster speed than Megan. And if he happens to be the one that gets attacked, um, he's going to proc his nemesis. And then he's going to get more turns. So Orion's actually faster than their their whatever, their nukers and all that. And I'm going to, you know, buff up 
and, and I'm going to be faster than them. I'm going to be able to move before them and take them down really, really fast. The really good thing about Ellen is I think a lot of people underestimate her because she has really, really nice utility. Um, the attack bar decrease makes it so that when the enemy has nemesis runes, they, they sometimes, uh, most of the time, if it lands properly, if her debuffs do land properly and don't get resisted, uh, most of the time that most of the time they're not going to be able to cut in front because you know they they um, they the, if they only have one set of nemesis runes, it's it's only a few percent. It's not actually that much. Even if I do half of their HP bar. Um, the decrease from Ellen's attack bar, which is like 15% each. If it lands like four times, that's like 60, which is already more than half their attack bar. So, which is more than already like yeah half their attack bar, which will kind of really decrease it by a lot. Just just watch right after I use this skill and see and look at Veramos's attack bar. So you don't want Veramos if he's on Nemesis to cut in front, but this Veramos actually isn't. It actually set his attack bar a bit back. And, and I actually have a bit of attack bar overflow on my Tossie because I'm using an attack bar buffer. So I'm just going to use my Light Slash now. And then this should be able to kill everything except with the exception of Theomars, but he's just going to die very quickly next turn. Um, the really good thing about Ellen is that she's actually she actually hits four times. So even against wind monsters, even if she glances a few times, if it hits once, um, if it hits like once or twice and doesn't glance and activates the, the skill, she actually has a higher chance to decrease the attack bar of wind monsters than, um, you know, a, a really good example is like Poseidon who, who fits the exact same goal. But Poseidon's thing only procs once, so if it glances then it does not proc at, at all. Um, which makes her really reliable and one of the one of the main reasons I chose to use her, um, you know, through theory crafting and all that, and and in practice she's already very good. So this is, you know, I'm pretty happy with her. And Tossi, you know, I don't I don't think I need to talk much about him. Everyone knows how strong he is. Um, I probably should not have used that. I, this this is a more of a tanky team. I should have actually brought the Megan for the attack leader since I don't need the defense leader. But it should be fine. Um, if I'm lo if I'm if I don't kill them by a little bit of attack, then you know I brought the lo wrong leader skill. So that villager actually has will, which is a little bit annoying. Um, the the I found out some a really good thing about Tossi is that he actually um, his third skill's passive is stronger than Dias's passive. So Dias's passive makes it so you have 50% chance less to crit. But Tossi's third skill always crits on dark monsters, and I have never seen him not crit on Diaz. So, which leads me to believe that it, it's actually like, you know, the, the way the mechanic works is it cannot not crit, um, even with Diaz's passive. So now with Chasun and, and Villajo, we should be good. I'm just gonna, you know, throw down a lot of damage on him and try to kill him. And once you kill, like, once you leave leave only Chasun alive, she can't use her Fallen Blossom on anything, so she's going to eventually die. One of the downsides to using Tossie is his animation is very, very slow. Um, both on his, yeah, on all three of, all, all four of his skills, the animation is really, really slow. And he has this extra animation when he procs Sword of the Supreme, Supreme Skywolf to make that, you know, light tornado thing. And the animation of this skill is also very slow as well. Um, but it, he is very, very strong. He does a lot of damage. I, I do have a max skill. I also have Ellen max skill. I have everything max skill that you're probably seeing right now. So we're gonna go to the bottom of the list and clear three more, and that's that's pretty much it for what I'm planning to do, do today. Um, so in this case, their their team is going to go first. So Tyron is going to, you know, the speed leader and Chloe. So they probably want to cut in front. Um, which makes it really good for me because I can just run run something else. I can run uh, my Soha, who actually ruined with double will as well. Actually, I put Soha in storage. I could just use Praha. It's the same thing. You just need some sort of AoE um, cleanser. 
And I'm, I'm not actually going to use the resist. Actually, I, I should use the resist. No, I have full will. I don't need the resist. I'm going to take the accuracy leader. This way it's easier for Praha to land her, um, her third skill since she does not have 100% accuracy. So Chloe's going to Fnatic, which is perfect. And then Tyron uses Freeze and Vero Stun and Vero Proc Island. And Theomars does whatever the hell he wants. Doesn't matter to me. Okay. That was pretty bad, but it's perfectly fine. Armor Break doesn't land, but they're mostly nukers, so I'm st I know I'm still going to be doing enough damage to kill most of them. Um, I'm not sure if this Light Slash will kill the, the Tyron, but it does kill Tyron, which is perfect, which is exactly what I needed to do. I'm going to heal with Praha, this way you know I can take one more hit from Theomars, because he's, he's definitely going to be hitting Praha again. And then I'm just going to use this on Veramos, just decrease his attack bar and, and make sure he doesn't get in front of Tossy to, to even get a chance to get a turn. Now, now I know that Swords of Supreme Skywolf is probably going to kill the two on the side, so I'm going to put a little bit, bit of damage on the Chloe. Alright, now that they're dead, I can just keep doing this. Yep, Ellen and Ellen's actually really, really strong. You know, a lot of people say she's she's really bad, especially on the quickie. It's like, oh, if you pass mid game, she's not worth using anymore. I think she's super strong, one of the best, um, one of the best Nat three nukers, and she she could beat a lot of Nat four nukers as well. So this one is another really annoying comp that's trying to you know stay alive and all that, and but they don't have any sort of cleanse, so I'm actually going to use use Orion because I know that they're trying to trying to cut in front and they want to try to nuke down one of my guys so I'm gonna use the defense leader and try to try to stay alive um, and use Galleon's double shield to you know sort of survive the nuke of the Amars and Perna and hopefully they don't attack both attack the same guy so Bernard's speed buff the Amars armor breaks Orion and then Orion actually that probably proc his nemesis which is really good and now I get to buff my attack bar and do my armor breaks. Okay, did not land on Perna. But that is perfectly fine. Because Perna is pretty squishy, so he didn't you don't really even need to armor break him to kill him. But this Brian is really tanky though. He he blocked a lot of my damage. I think my Ellen just gl glanced too many times on that Brian. Which is why. Um, they're still all alive, but as long as um, as long as Perna doesn't kill Cl Tulsi in this turn, we should be fine. So I'm going to Perna has a bit of attack, but I'm actually going to reset the attack bar of Perna back a bit, and then I don't really care if Ellen dies because you know Ellen, Ellen can do whatever. And then I know Tulsi's right about to move next. Um, I could have done any skill, and they would have still all died. So this works pretty well, and this this helps prove that shield runes are actually pretty good if they don't have any sort of AOE cleanse, um, and also um, Ellen's pretty good. So this one's like Orion, pretty annoying stuff. Um, Retouch and Chasun, so they're actually going to try to tank my damage. Um, I'm going to actually put in Megan and try to try to be able to do more damage than them and, and try to kill his um, kill his his Kumar in one turn. Hopefully I can do this. The Orion's probably going to be faster than my Megan. Nothing I can do because um, my Megan's slow as hell. But I am somewhat confident that I'm able to survive one turn. So Megan got death broken which is actually perfectly okay because Megan's the monster I don't really need and she's kind of only here for the attack leader, kind of. That broke my shield, and hopefully this will be able to kill... Oh my god, Kumar didn't get armor broken, this is really bad. At least please kill Orion. Oh, it glanced so many times on Chasun, this is, this is really, really bad. At least Chasun is, is still dead. Alright, so I'm going to try to decrease the attack bar of Kumar. Because I know my Tazi is definitely going to be moving before Theomars. I'm going to try to freeze him. 
and then use Sword of the Supreme Skywolf to kill him. It did not exactly work, but I'm actually fine. Alright, and there goes his Kumar. That would have been way more perfect if I la actually landed the armor break. Um, a lot of my runes are maxed out, so they're it's kind of bad. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, again, if you want to see the runes on all the units I, I used, my Ryan was on double nemesis. He's not very fast because I use like triple HP. Um, he's I'm I'm kind of like planning to use him as a counter like you know counter double Lucian AD you know buff up the attack bar and then make my Praha go or something like that because um, I wanted my Praha and Despair to, to counter the the Will Rune teams and. Um, Galleon. Galleon's on double shield. His runes aren't even maxed out. I didn't even like, you know, power them up. But it's on like attack double accuracy. Attack accuracy. And his accuracy is already like really low. This rune's not even maxed out. Um, but he, he, he only just has a little bit of speed to go in front of my other nukers. So you want your nukers like as close as possible. That's pretty much it. So that's, that's the video. I just wanted to show my new AO team really fast because... I'm, I'm pretty excited that I, I finally have a Wombo Combo team. Um, I, I've been doing Arena with like Bruisers for the longest time. It's, it's been months, like more than months. It's been years, or well, more than one year, not two years yet. But, you know, I've been playing with just only Bruisers and supports for a long time. It feels pretty good to have some AoE nukers. It does help me clear dungeons and secret dungeons and all that a lot faster as well. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. And um, yeah, don't 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 suck dick for um, legendary scrolls, and mystic scrolls, and light dark scrolls. Not good for your health. Peace out.